Hey, so in this video, I'm going to give you a little introduction to a web-based program called SharePoint that's part of the Office 365 suite, and in the process, show you how to subscribe to a district-provided blog um, called EdTech and Small Bytes that used to be sent out as an email, which you can now receive as just quick, brief updates to your email, and then follow links to the actual blog if you so choose. So to begin, we're going to go through the Hello ID portal, which I've made other tutorial videos on how to do. Um, if you have not taken a look at that, it might be a good one to go take a look at first before going on with this video. So when I open Hello ID, it's going to take me to all the commonly used tools that I might want to use for my work here. And the one we're going to use today is Office 365. So I'm going to single click that because these are kind of icon based. When I do that, <clears throat> it's going to load up my email actually. And after my email is loaded, I'm going to click this little box of squares at the top. And I'm going to go to SharePoint. So I'm going to go look through here and find the SharePoint icon, which is down here at the bottom. So SharePoint is a pretty broad web-based application that allows organizations to share varieties of information in a variety of forms. So files, folders, etc. And in our case, we do this through sites. So there's different sites that information can be posted to. So SharePoint, in this case, for us, we might think of it like a big umbrella website, and within it are a bunch of little mini websites that people can create for various topics. For us, we're going to be going and trying to figure out how to subscribe to the EdTech and Small Bytes site, which, it, as it turns out, is a blog site. You probably don't have this on here. In order to find it in the search bar, search for the term EdTech. All is one phrase. And when you search, you should see the site EdTech in Small Bytes. If you click that, it'll take you to the site. Now there's a couple things you can do. One is up here, you can click Follow, and after you click Follow, it tells me I'm already following the site, but what that will do is make the site appear back on my SharePoint dashboard. Whenever I go to SharePoint, I'll see EdTech in Small Bytes. The other thing you can do is click alert me. Alert me will send you automatic emails when new posts are made. And then you'll be able to see the topic of those posts and decide if you want to follow the link within that email to the actual post itself. So when I click alert me, that's going to take me to a new page. And in that new page, I'll have all sorts of choices about how I set up my alerts. Whether I, now I get the, I would suggest email as opposed to text message. And you can change these different settings. And when you're done, just hit OK. And then you'll end up getting EdTech and Small Bytes updates in your email, which you can then choose to click and follow to the actual blog itself. 